friends, we are in the kitchen today as I have 60 pounds of apples I'm taking care of. I made a bunch of applesauce here yesterday, so I canned some. And then you saw me scoop out some um, chunky applesauce that I'm gonna actually freeze, just one crock pot full. So it's a day of apples and some Christmas decorating and probably still enjoying some time outside because it's really supposed to be, I think 50 and it's the beginning of November. I think I'm filming this on November 8th. So, you know, it's still super nice for November, which I enjoy, but yet I kind of want to see some snow. So uh, it's a day of life inside of the home. The girls are playing. Elias is just up from sleeping. He'll be nursing shortly, but I'm gonna finish cleaning up breakfast dishes in this crock pot and then we'll see about doing some apples. I'm hoping to dehydrate some apples and then maybe get some ready for apple pie. Um, I'll make up the whole apple pie and just freeze the pie in our deep freeze instead of making a canned apple pie filling. So that's, I think, what I'm gonna do. That's what my mom always did. She had always like, 10 different types of pies in the freezer, which made it super easy just to pull out and thaw and bake. So let's come along today. Let's do a little Christmas decorating. Let's do a little apple making. I think I have a soup recipe today that I'm gonna share with you. And this might be a couple day long video or it might be today. But anyways, let's enjoy some homemaking. I ordered 60 pounds of apples from Azure because they were a great deal for organic apples. And I am so grateful to be able to preserve and put up all the different apple things that I did. So I did apple butter, applesauce, apple pie filling that I stuck in the freezer. Um, so many different apple selections. And it's just so great to have that on my shelves and just knowing that I can feed my family well throughout the winter with canned fruits of that nature. So the apples are dehydrating. I set it for eight hours at 145 degrees. So we just got that dehydrator a while ago, hadn't used it yet. But when you have 60 pounds of apples, it's perfect to use for that. Um, I'm gonna leave some of my apple stuff out so I can do the pies later. But the girls are still playing. They're doing a pretend store. I got their school stuff ready for some preschool. It's like 10, 20. Um, I'm flexible on when we do preschool. Sometimes it's usually around 9.30 after we played. I've done a little housework, fed Elias. Today it's a little bit different. They helped me do a little bit of the dehydrating things and eat their apples for snack. And so now I'm gonna go get the rest of my Christmas totes and bring them out here to look through what I have. Um, I feel like I change my decor too often. And so I run into it taking like an entire week to decorate. So we're gonna see, my tree is up as you saw. Some of my garlands are up, but I'm gonna add some lights to those. And it's just, I wanna keep it simple, but yeah, I like to change it up. So I'm gonna find something I like and maybe I'll just stick with that throughout the years. And that way my kids can help me because they'll know where things go. Um, just to make it like classic decorating of how I like it. But I did get a few new things too, so I'll just share some of the things I got too as I pull stuff out and maybe even declutter some of my Christmas decor, which I'm always all for. 
So I do also keep our kids' Christmas books in my Christmas totes, and those are always so fun to pull out for this season. We have read through all 10 or so already, so they'll probably get well used throughout the next two months. So some of these items in here I use at our guest cottage um, and these little wreaths I actually don't use anymore. They look kind of cheap anyways. So I'm going to get rid of them. Oh no, I used two at the guest cottage. That's why these are in here. I used these two. That's what I did. So I'll leave those in there and then in here I didn't pull everything out either because I used these at the guest cottage. I'll probably still decorate over there the same. Um, my scarf is wrapping some of my red plates, but I don't think I'm going to use them this year. I just, not sure I am, but I do have some of that, where are these at? Right here. More of those wreaths. So, I'm just going to get rid of those. There are some things that I do decorate the same, so I'm going to decorate my accordion rack. And then um, I think I have a little Christmas tree that I'm gonna put up, just teeny little lit tree, but I usually put up a little Christmas tree where the baby swing is. So that's not gonna go up this year, but I think I'm gonna let the girls decorate one in their room this year. So while you watch me decorate, I just wanna share just a little inspiration for your home for the Christmas decorating season. It's such a joy to be able to bring out decor and change up what you have in your home. But I also think this is a good time as we put our Christmas decorations up to remind ourselves what the reason of Christmas is. And as a Christian, it is the birth of Christ. And so I just wanna remind myself and those of you who believe the same that this is a good reminder for us as we pull out each decoration to um, enjoy the beauty of it but know that there is a blessing in Christ's birth. All right so I ordered a few things from Amazon and then went to a friend's Christmas open house at a store she has. I got this garland from Amazon. I hadn't looked at it yet so it's kind of like a review here. It's very plasticky. Um, Looks like I could cut it and like do segments if I want, but if I dress it up with some eucalyptus, it might be okay. I think it's six foot. So this might go well like on my piano because I used real pine last year and it made such a mess. So we'll see if I use that or not. A um, couple other greenery things I ordered from Amazon. This one is very plastic looking. Like very, very much so but it might be good to tuck in with some other granaries. I was thinking there's a lot in here and I don't remember how much I paid for them. Maybe like a hundred pieces or 50 pieces for $10. Um, this greenery looks pretty good. I ordered some blue and white ribbon stuff for um, putting on my greenery, hanging on different things that I did last year. I used white ribbon, but I thought this was more of a silk ribbon and that was really pretty to use different shades of blue. And from my friend's store, I got this beautiful, fun pillow cover, Nutcracker. It says, Merry Christmas. She had the pillow at 15, but I asked if I could just have the pillow cover for 750. So that will be fun. And then I got this beautiful little bird for $3. You wanna hold that? Oh, you're gonna take it home. And then I was drawn to this wood tree. It was $12, but I just really like that rustic, rustic wood tree. It might go in my built-ins, on my piano. I just really thought that was really neat. All right, this is for a friend. It's a moose. She loves moose. And so I'm gonna give her this little moose figurine here. And then I got one more little, oh, and it loses a bunch of stuff on it. One more little tree that it does lose a bunch of white stuff out of it. So this was $3, I think. So it's dropping a bunch of white things. So I'm gonna stick that away and it'll go on a shelf. Um, 
either at the little house or in my house. So I'm gonna keep decorating. We might get to preschool this morning. We might do it at the nap. Yep, because we did it. <laughs> we did it, yeah, it did. filling recipe I used was from Sally's Baking Addiction so if I remember I'll link it in the description box otherwise check out Sally's Baking Addiction she has a lot of good recipes that I often use her all butter pie crust is my go-to got the apple pie filling in the bowl right there and um, I don't know if I'm gonna freeze it or make the pie up um, depends on timing here because it's about 1 30 and so some of the kids have been down already for a little while um, today seems to be like it's slipping by me we didn't end up decorating a whole lot yet we ended up sitting down and reading the kids needed some one-on-one -on -one time we did part of the schooling and then we'll do some more later. It's a beautiful day outside, so we definitely have to get outside later too. So some of this stuff may have to be put on a side burner and done tonight or another day, but I am going to start roasting some of my butternut squash, not roasting it. Um, I'm probably actually going to just bake it. That's a lot quicker. The recipe does say to roast it. Um, I get why, because it gets a little better flavor but I might just bake it on a baking sheet it's cut upside down I'm gonna do four butternut squash so I have some extra we had soup four nights in a row this week so it's gonna be another soup time and then I think I'm gonna do some bacon to like sprinkle on top it's a really simple simple recipe so um I'll share that with you or make a blog post about it or both <laughs> As you can see, I did decide to cube and roast the butternut squash. I only used three because that's what fit on the sheet pan. I should have roasted the apples, you heard me say that later, with it and the garlic, but it's okay. It still is delicious and with five ingredients, you can't go wrong with this soup. Okay, kitchen is a little tidy other than some more apples we'll probably do later and I left everything out because I'll probably do another apple pie filling I decided to just go ahead and freeze it so um, that is what I have time for right now because it's pushing two o'clock I'll be having to nurse Eli soon and I want to get a little more decorating done if you're noticing I'm taking snippets of time to decorate to be in the kitchen to do some schooling Everything just is kind of a mix of homemaking when you are a mom of littles. So you got to do incorporating the fun, incorporating the fun with the kids, with getting them involved, and then enjoying time by myself decorating and time in the kitchen. And it just all works out because that's the blessing of being home. You get to just do it when you have time and enjoy it and experiment and put different things here and there, take things away as you'll see me do. And my final home tour will probably be different than what you see here as per usual with each season.
right, so I'm sauteing some apples up for the soup. The butternut squash is roasted. I should have just roasted them together and put the garlic on it so then it would have gotten that flavor. I'm learning as I go here. But then I'll throw some garlic in here, put the squash in, and some chicken stock. Except I am going to use some water. No, I have some boxed chicken stock. Salt. And that's about it. <laughs> All right, so we went outside for a little while this afternoon and it was quite breezy, like probably gusts of 25 miles an hour. So I made the girls some homemade hot chocolate and then um, I'm making croutons for the soup actually too. So we just cut up some sourdough bread and put olive oil, salt and pepper on it and I'll bake it and then bake the bacon along with that to go on top of our butternut squash soup. So it's about, uh, 4.45, so husband will be home in about a half hour, and I'll get um, the soup done by then. Oh good, they're enjoying their hot chocolate. I might even have some too. Well friends, the kitchen is mostly cleaned up. There's still a few things out. Dishes are done, apple chips are packaged up, and I am ready to take a little breather. Um, the Christmas stuff is still out on the floor and we have company coming tomorrow, so I will need to take care of that a little bit, but I'm glad you were able to come along today as I did a lot of apple things and um, Christmas decorating and just did some home life. So don't forget to subscribe, thumbs it up if you enjoy coming along and I will talk with you in the next one.